this is a lesson on the social media audit. And credit goes to Keith Kazenbury for his Harvard Business Review article called Conducting a Social Media Audit. It's a very useful tool if you're looking at competitors, especially digital competitors and those who trade within the domain of social media. It's based on his book, Social Media Strategy, Marketing, Advertising and Public Relations in the Consumer Revolution. And if you'd like to know more about the social media audit and other really, really useful tools for social media strategy, please take a look at Keith's book. It's based upon The Elephant's Child and other Just So Stories by Bridget Kipling. And the poem, I keep six honest serving men. I keep six honest serving men. They taught me all I knew. Their names are what and why and when and how and where and who. I send them over land and sea. I send them east and west. But after they have worked for me, I give them all a rest. And it's the words what, why, when, how, where and who that form the basis of the social media audit. Let's take a look at it. OK, so if we go across the top here, we have who, where, what, when, why, and then we have an opportunity which is assessed. And we take three different uh, approaches or overviews based upon the company, which is your company, that which you're using for an assignment or that which you're auditing in terms of social media, the consumer, which is the person or people or organizations that we're targeting with our social media and then competitor at the end. And I'll say a little bit more about competitor in a moment, but clearly you'll have more than one competitor. So who generally your company um, start here on the left. This is your client, your own company, perhaps one which you've chosen for an assignment. Then we move to who the consumer this is your target customer often you will share the target customer with your competitors so for example coca-cola has the same target customer as pepsico with their pepsi product within boundaries of course but uh, we can see here that we have a series of consumers that we're competing for and the question you ask is where do they live on social media meaning do they use facebook do they use TikTok? where are we likely to find them which media do they prefer and this change is based upon whether it's generation x for facebook gen y for instagram or gen z's for snapchat in a general sense and clearly gen z's will use facebook but if we're trying to target them we need to find out precisely where they are this will help you to select the correct social media channel or mix of channels then we go on to our competitor. At the end of the day, the social media audit is a competitor analysis. So who are your clients, companies, case studies, competitors? How many competitors do they have? What are they doing in the social media space? And depending on how much time you have, try to keep this down to a, a few competitors, those that are most relevant to your business. So now let's go across the top to where. Which social media channels are being utilized by you, your customers and your competitors? Where are they? So where do they live in social media land? They might live in more than one social media or some social media may be preferable whilst others are used. And this gives us a wider playing field when we're looking at the sorts of social media we might decide to use. What, what content or sentiment is being conveyed by you? what content sentiment is engaging your customer and what content or sentiment is being conveyed by your competitors. So you need to give a, a much broader audit. So content in straightforward terms is text or images or video or software in a very basic sense. So what kind of content is being used and what kind of sentiment is being conveyed? Is it about a campaign? Is it to inform customers? It's a, is it to reinforce? So you can check on these two things as you check on what. Next, we go to when. How frequently is your company using social media? Is it hourly, daily, or just using during a campaign? 
How frequently are your customers using social media? Hourly, daily or during your campaign? And how frequently are your competitors using social media? Hourly, daily, during a campaign? Now, a lot of uh, communication may not be what you're after here. So for example, if you're communicating hourly or daily and your customers are only really interested in receiving messages weekly or monthly or biannually, then you're really giving them too much information and this will dilute your message. So you need to work out when do our customers or potential customers use social and what's the right frequency? And you might learn this by looking at some of your competitors and judging what they're doing. Now finally, why? What's the purpose of your social media communication? Is it to inform, to persuade, to change your behavior, to remind, to sell something and so on? What do customers find particularly engaging and what do they share? What do they comment on and what generates UGC or user generated content? And what's the purpose of your competitors social media communication? Why may take you a little bit more time, but once you dig down and you get the meaning of the social, the purpose, then this will then start to create its own opportunities. OK, so broadly speaking, we've undertaken the social media audit. So now what we're trying to look at is the opportunity and we're going to rate this. Clearly, it's subjective. It's based upon you, the marketing management or the student and, and your judgment based upon the audit which you've undertaken. But you have undertaken the audit. Therefore, you are informed and you have a, an, a, an overview of the opportunities that, that's there. So we score, we rate or we rank the opportunity versus the challenges of overcoming that opportunity. And Keith Gazenbury uses blue dots. So opportunities represent the free space where you can actually communicate. But then, well, what is the strength of that opportunity? Do we score up to five? And then there are challenges which will offset any opportunities and there are difficulties that you may encounter. So what's the size of the challenge? You can score that one to five. Now, again, as I mentioned before, this is subjective and what you might score as five, I might score as four or three. But the idea is that we're looking at it relative to all the other challenges and opportunities based upon the informed audit that we've just undertaken. Kit Kazenbury on his website, Post Control Marketing, posts some basic audits, as you can see here, which is a, a paper based version of what I've just gone through. You could clearly um, create your own version of this using tables. And there are other audits that you might find useful too, such which is, for example, Kazenbury uses the social media channels categories, which allows you to look at the different types of social media channels which are being used. Interestingly, and perhaps more of a contemporary audit is the guide to influencers. And when we, we audit based upon objectives and our target audience and the types of influencer that might perform best. OK, that's a basic social media audit. Credit goes to Keith Kazenbury and I hope you enjoyed the video.